why name's Ed. Uh, I'm just wanting to demonstrate the way I would use the smart board and OneNote in a math lesson. Now, this cannot all be seen, so I can use the full screen icon if I wish to open up the full board. I have, I use the quick launch here. You can load various different icons and functions into that quick launch and that's how I manage to uh, get the pins and, and get the functionality that I need. For short kids, it's a problem. Now, I will always have my SharePoint open and the actual server, the, the file where the, the OneNote files sit is on this same file. But as far as the students are concerned, this is the files where Word documents, practice tests and so on are sitting. So they know how to navigate through the various topics in the subject. During the lesson, my first version of uh, OneNote is probably on the lesson plan. Uh, some rules or a glossary or so on that you can come back and refer to when students are stuck. And then here we can uh, collapse this left hand side here because I want to add a page. Uh, you know, I've got various, uh, various questions already done here. Some have got answers and some haven't. Now I've got a student who's asked me about a question from the text. I have the textbook open. So if I have that open now, return to OneNote, then the next active window is my text. So I can press the screen capture button and I can simply drag down over question three. It automatically goes into the page where I'm working and I can pick up a pen, choose a colour, and start writing a solution. There's a, there's a little bit of a delay now because the board is recording this. Now, as it turns out, I actually have a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet open with the same question and an Excel generated solution. And I can explain. So I can explain how to work the Excel file, or for our purposes now, I'm just going to copy that answer in. So I need to get a cursor, so I need to go back to text, put a cursor in here, and then again do a screen capture. And I can come down here, capture that solution, and it should end up back here in OneNote. Alright, at the moment this page does not have a heading. So let's open our keyboard and select the cursor, put it in there. Uh, we're in chapter 12C, that was question 3. And so now we do have our page labelled. And I can make a second copy of that page once I've got the blue line around it. I can copy it and paste it. I've got a duplicate now. So this one, if I wish, I can delete all the solution. Just delete all of that. And so now I've got a question page and here I can make this the solution page. I tend to leave a question page ready for next year. And so again next year, so I'll mark this one with solution because I know it's already done. So in there, and S, L, N. And so we can see now that uh, next year if I want to do another solution, or well, have a student come out, they actually love coming out and doing the solutions. Let's copy it, paste it again, and choose the better solution. Keep one, students can sign their name on it, and uh, leave it there for next year. So that's the main functions of OneNote, and I find
find it, it certainly works for me within a lesson.